light and formation of shadows in this chapter we are going to study what is light and how the shadows are formed light is a form of energy which helps in seeing objects when light falls on an object some of the light gets reflected the reflected light comes to our eyes and we are able to see an object now here what is reflected so reflection is nothing but the bouncing back of light when light falls on an opaque surface it bounces back to our eyes and we are able to see an object now what are the different sources of light first is a luminous a body which emits light by itself it can be natural like sun or artificial like electric bulb stars are luminous for example sunlight electric bulb candle etc non luminous a body which does not emits light by itself such as planets satellites these are non luminous sun reflected from the surface of the moon the propagation of light it means how does light travel from one point to another point light travels in a straight line this is called the linear propagation of light reflection of light the rays of light falling on an object from a source of light are thrown back from the surface of that object this is called the reflection of light two important terms in this regards are first the ray of light it is a path along which light travels in the given direction now as we know light travels in a straight line we can represent ray of light by straight line with direction arrow another is beam of light a bunch of ray of light in the given direction now different types of reflection there are two types of reflection they are regular reflection and irregular reflection a regular reflection when the light reflects on a well polished surface like mirror means the equal surface then the light rays are reflected back in a parallel manner this type of reflection is known as regular reflection but when the surface is curved, when the light reflects on a rough surface like wall the light rays reflect back in scattered manner this type of reflection is known as irregular reflection a mirror we all have seen the plain mirror which we regularly use in our house it is very commonly used in our life we use that in the car dressing room etc a plain mirror are formed by layering molten aluminum or silver onto the back of a sheet of glass inside a vacuum we see our face in the mirror this is possible through the reflection of light now how the image is formed in a plain mirror light rays reflected from parts of our body fall on mirror and are reflected back to our eyes when these reflected rays reach our eyes we can see the image in the mirror the image formed is erect same size and laterally inverted it retains the same colors as the object laterally inverted it means we can see our left as in mirror it would be right and vice versa now type of objects which are present in our surrounding they are further classified Uh, categorized as transparent translucent and opaque what are transparent object if we are able to see clearly through an object it is said to be a transparent like water glass translucent if we are able to see not clearly an object it is said to be translucent like butter paper it means we can see through it but not clear image is formed not clearly we can see through it so that object is translucent opaque object if we cannot see through an object 
it means we cannot see we can see not at all it is an opaque object like wood a pinhole camera now here we are going to prepare the pinhole camera using the following points first of all you have to take the two boxes so that one can slide into another it means one should be big and another should be little much cut open one side of each box on the opposite face of the larger box make a small hole in the middle it means the box both of box should be one side open so in the larger one box a small hole should be made in middle in the smaller box cut out from the middle a square with a side of about 5 to 6 cm and cover that open square in the box with tracing paper or butter paper we can say that is translucent screen we want now slide the smaller box inside the larger one with a hole in such a way that the side with the tracing paper is inside it means both closed should be outside and open must be inside now it is ready to use now how to use it hold the pinhole camera look through the open face of the smaller box you should use a piece of black cloth to cover your head in the pinhole camera so no much light falls on the camera now focus on the object you want to capture in the camera make sure that the object you wish to look at through your pinhole camera are in bright sunshine move the smaller box forward or backward till you get a proper image on the tracing paper pasted at the other end how the image looks like in pinhole camera the image would be seen upside down it means inverted images are formed image in a pinhole camera is real inverted and smaller in size natural pinhole camera present in our surrounding when we pass under a tree covered with larger number of leaves we notice that small patches of sunlight under it these circular images are in fact pinhole images of the sun the gaps between the leaves act as the pinholes these gaps are all kinds of irregular shapes but we can see circular images of the sun this is called natural pinhole camera now how the formation of shadow takes place if an opaque object comes in the way of light source light does not pass through it why because because it is an opaque object as a result the light does not reach a wall or any other surface on other side of object so where does that light goes the part remains dark this dark part is called the shadow of object the size of shadow depends on the distance of source of light and on the angle at which the light rays fall on the object if the source of light is closer to object a larger shadow is formed then when the source of light is far from the object smaller shadow is formed the shadow can be seen only on a screen the ground walls of rooms buildings these all acts as a screen for the shadows now structure of eyes we see things only when light coming from them enters our eyes eye is one of the most important sense organs there are various parts of eyes they are cornea iris pupil retina lens and optic nerve so the first part is cornea the outer coat of the eye is white it is stuffed so that it can protect the interior of the eye from accidents it transparent front part is called cornea iris behind the cornea we find a dark muscular structure called iris in the iris there is a small opening called pupil the iris is the part of eye 
which gives it its distinctive color. The iris also controls the amount of light entering into the eye. Pupil. The pupil changes the size to let light into the eye. So it acts as a curtain to our eyes. It gets smaller in bright light and larger as the amount of light decreases. The size of pupil is controlled by the iris. Retina. The lens focuses light on the back of the eye on a layer which is called retina. The retina contains several nerve cells. Optic nerve. Sensations felt by the nerve cells are then transmitted to the brain through the optic nerve. Lens. The lens is the main part of the eye. The light entering displays on the lens and then forms an image. Now how could we take care of our eyes? If advised, we have to use spectacles. Too little or too much light is bad for eyes. Insufficient light causes eye strain and headaches. Too much light like that of sun, a powerful lamp or laser torch can injure the retina. Do not look at the sun or powerful light directly. Never rub your eyes. If particles of dust go into your eyes, wash your eyes gently with cold water. If there is no improvement, go to the doctor. Now there are some of the visual defects. Some persons including children can be visually impaired. They have very limited vision to see things. Some persons cannot see at all since birth. Some persons may lose their eyesight because of a disease or an injury. Thank you.